as a natural, one of the things we gotta love is wash day. <laughs> I hope you hear the sarcasm in my voice. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you my wash day routine for my teeny weeny afro. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first things I like to do is go ahead and saturate my hair with water to make sure that it's fully saturated. I like to also comb through my curls to make sure that I'm getting any kinks or anything like that out. And then I'll go ahead and shampoo my hair with Mio Organics shampoo. So I'm the girl who loves all the suds and the lather when it comes to shampooing my hair. So I make sure that I get a good lather, a good suds going on. I typically shampoo my hair at least twice every single time I shampoo. Sometimes I'll do it at least three times, just depending on how much gel I have in my hair. Um, I do use a lot of gel and mousse and a lot of styling products on my hair just to kind of give my hair a firm hold so I don't really have to wash my hair too often. So I always make sure that I do at least two to three good shampoos and lathers. So once I'm done shampooing, I do like to give myself a little bit of like a scalp massage as well in the shower, just with like the water running through my hair. And then I'll go ahead and make sure my hair is thoroughly rinsed out with no shampoo in there and then and now it's time for the real beast. <laughs> so after I am done shampooing, I'll go ahead and towel dry my hair. I like to get my hair as dry as possible. Uh, typically when I get out the shower, my hair has already drunk up all the water anyway. Uh, my hair needs a lot of moisture. So yeah, anywho, I'll go ahead and towel dry my hair. And then once it's towel dried, I'll go ahead and pick everything out because I want to make my comb through later as easy as possible. So right now I'm just using one of my wide tooth combs to help me comb out my hair to get all these kinks out because when I use my little skinny to when I use my little skinny comb later I don't want any issues as you can see I can never have the bathroom to myself my husband's literally always in here with me <laughs> anywho but after I've gotten everything combed through I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some products in my hair so today I'm gonna be using the Miel Organics curl defining mousse and then I'm also going to be using their leave-in conditioner as well um, in my hair. So I like to take a good amount of leave-in conditioner and just run it through my hair. And then after I have the leave-in conditioner ran through good enough, then I'll go ahead with the styling mousse and I'll just apply that to my hair and run it through my hair like everywhere. I look crazy, ooh. Now it's time for the fun part. And yes, I am still tenderheaded at my big grown age and you're not gonna judge me. Okay, we're moving on. So yes, I will go ahead and start combing all this product through my hair. And I'm just trying to get like my curls to like not be like too kinked up. So this process does take me a while because man, my hair kinks up really, really quickly, even though I just comb through it. But using this like small tooth comb, um, my rat tail comb, it, you know, the whole entire process with these small teeth yeah my hair does not get along with that so it takes me a little while to actually comb through all of this so before i actually completely comb through everything i do like to make myself like a little side part just so i have a, like a little shape to my hair so it's just not so boring so i'll put like a little side part in and then i'll continue to like kind of comb everything over just so it's easier for me to style later <sighs> okay is this what we give it today? We give it nappy? Okay, so after I struggle through that whole comb through situation, yes, I am a big baby. <laughs> I'll go ahead and apply this Big Papa gel. I absolutely love this gel. I can say the only downfall of this gel is it's a little bit sticky on your hands afterwards. And then sometimes like it's like sticky like later. So that's the only downfall to it, but it does have extremely good hold and it always makes my curls pop. So that Big Papa, yeah. It is a big papa. 
So I just go ahead and just like smother a whole bunch of gel on. I'm just kidding, I don't put a lot, but I this product literally a little goes a long way. But I like to kind of like semi part my hair in the back and like the shorter bit of my hair, I like to do this like circular like rubbing motion, kind of like if you had one of those like palm rollers, like the little sponges like back in the day, you know, when we used to use those. Yeah, so I kind of do that whole entire thing with my hair with my hand and I only do it to like that small back portion in the back because it's shorter and I can't really like do a finger curl with it. So I'll kind of palm roll that and then I'll go ahead and start taking my hair in sections. And this is when I use my rat tail comb and I'll just kind of comb through that section and then I'll just like finger curl uh, my hair from there just to make my curls pop with that gel. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you, this process is probably the most lengthiest process for me because my hair is shorter, so it does take a lot more time um, and effort to make these curls actually pop. So I do go section by section and I try to do small sections so I can go ahead and get each curl like defined. And I continue this whole entire process through my whole entire head. Um, in the front, I do the same thing, except for I like to try to like kind of part each section just a little bit and go through it in the front as well. Okay, we are finally in the home stretch right here. Yes, these last few curls. If I could tell you guys how much my arms hurt, okay? They hurt, they really do hurt. But look at the curls though, it was worth it. Was it worth it? Let me work it, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm not missy, but I'm gonna keep moving on. Okay, so after I completely tortured myself for a good 30 to 45 minutes, I like to go ahead and lay my baby hairs down with my little broken like edge brush. Don't judge me, okay? Um, the most ratchetest things always work the best for me and it's broken because of my kids. But anywho, I always try to kind of swoop these little baby hairs in the front just so you know I have a little swoop gang going on up here. And then after I have that swooped, I'll go ahead and kind of fluff my curls just a little bit as you can see I'm feeling myself I'm feeling the curls everything is looking good so I do like to take the end of like my rat tail comb and this comb in particular my kids have actually bent it so they've actually did a little bit of help for me to actually get my curls to kind of lift up a little bit so I'll take the bent part of this rat tail comb and just kind of fluff my curls out on the top a little bit just to give it a little bit more volume up there definitely love my kids for creating this invention for me you know it just happened because they were fighting but anyway hashtag mom life i love it we can't Yes, my husband has to deal with this every single day. <laughs> Anywho, so as you can see, I'm obsessed with my curls. I absolutely love it. The last finishing time. Touch that I like to do is add a little bit of oil to my hair just to kind of give it that shine. And because I was using gel, sometimes gel can just like make your hair like a little bit too hard and like crunchy looking sometimes. Uh, even though the gel that I use doesn't make your hair look crunchy, it does sometimes like get really hard, um, but not like crunchy, crunchy. I don't know how to explain it. Anywho, but I like to add a little bit of oil on my hair uh, just to give my hair a little bit of shine and to kind of take away that crunchiness or that hardness that gel can give you sometimes. And here's the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. Girl, you said all the way through, you might as well join the gang. Anywho, I will catch you guys in the next video.